Good evening, this is Tina. In this video, I'm gonna talk about UIL standard. You know what? This is the third time I'm recording this video. The first, uh, the first one, the first time I record, I recorded uh, all of them, but I feel it's not a good. So I was thinking record another one. But uh, during the middle, when I was recording another one, someone is uh, texting me okay the teams keeping have the messaging posted there and then i was uh, distracted i don't know what should i talk so i have to start again so hope this time um one shot okay and uh, let's start um okay so we are gonna talk about how to reading information from the get request, right? So when we have a get request to our server side, besides we can read information from the cookie, okay, which is in the HTTP header, and uh, another place we can read information is from the URL, because when we uh, make a get request there's no body okay there's no uh, body so all the information is on the url either through the path variable or either through the query string or the hash uh, hash value right so uh, suppose let on we will talk up uh, not suppose let on we will talk about a core module called uh, url and we're gonna using the method called parse to parse the URL. And it's gonna return the uh, URL object for us, and which is uh, contains a key value pair. So what are the key? And what are the value? It's based on the URL standard, which is uh, uh, maintained by this organization. W H A T W G. Okay, Web Hypertest Application Technology Working Group. Okay, I just uh, copy from online and paste it here. I don't remember the whole thing. Okay, uh, so now let's take a look at what's the URL standard, which means in a URL, complete URL. Okay, and uh, which uh, what is each part represent for? I think this is the correct sentence. Yes. Okay. We are gonna using HTTPS as an example because it's more complete. And HTTP uh, protocol, we just don't have the auth part. Okay. So here I'm gonna using HTTPS. Suppose now we have a URL like this. HTTPS is gonna have a username. Suppose the username here are using Tina. Uh, Tina. Okay. And uh, the password here I using xing, uh, which is a fake. Okay, then we have add. Okay, and after that we have the uh, host, which is like a, uh, 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 like a g gmail. Okay, dot google dot com. And uh, when we're using the browser by default. Uh, it, because for HTTPS, it's gonna have a default uh, port number, which is a four four three. Okay, but it's not a uh, it's a hidden when we're using the browser. Okay, but when the browser make a request, it will show there. Okay, so then after that, we're gonna have a path path is like a slash web. Like okay, no, no, no. Let's let me using a real real pass slash web uh, slash user. Okay, this is a fake. Okay, slash. Okay, then after that we're gonna have something. What is something? Uh, suppose this one is index. Okay, and then what? Are, oh, this is a little bit big. I I need to scroll this part a little bit. Okay, good. And then we have question mark, which is a, a query, which query uh, in uh, which is a page equals two. Okay, and then we have a hash. Hash is uh, uh, top. 
like this okay so this is a complete URL okay and uh, now suppose I doing do like this way okay suppose now I'm gonna do yes let me scroll up a little bit suppose we require the URL that model and uh, uh, module mm -hmm. then we parse parse is the entire thing parse to here okay this entire URL and it's gonna give us a uh, object okay and so what is this object contain it's gonna be a key value pair okay key value pair and what's gonna contain and what's gonna contain it's gonna follow the standard which is the URL standard maintained by this mm -hmm. uh, group and uh, let me show you part by part okay and uh, this part is called a protocol including this uh, double quote okay called a protocol so here in this object it's gonna have a key is yes, a protocol and what's the value here the value gonna be the HTTP s and a colon okay and then this part this part is uh, uh, the entire this part entire this part is called auth and then this part is gonna have the username and this part is gonna have the pass, pass, password okay password okay um, if you parse then you're gonna have the auth part okay which is entire thing Tina this one didn't test because I tested the uh, HTTP not HTTPS okay and uh, you're gonna have the username and the username is Tina and the password and the password we can test the letter okay if I'm wrong this part if I'm wrong then I just uh, uh, correct it in the comment okay I don't want to go through again because I didn't test the HPS I only tested the uh, HTTP and this part is the host name and this part is the port okay and entire this part from here to here is what from from here to here is called the uh, host okay the same thing here in the object you're gonna get the host name like uh, I'm gonna continue on this part okay you're gonna have a host name and uh, which is uh, gmail gmail dot google.com okay and you're gonna have a port number is a 443 and you're gonna have a host which contains the two parts okay and then here this from here to here this part is called a path okay so the it's gonna have a path here ah sorry sorry path name okay you're gonna have a path name here as the key value pair which is the slash web and the slash user slash index I hope my face didn't cover this part okay and uh, then uh, this part from here to here this part is called a search okay including the question mark and uh, this part doesn't include the question mark is called a query okay so you're gonna if you have multiple it's gonna have a query and here we're gonna have a page equal to if we have more like like uh, here have a username equals one uh, and something equals two and some like uh, in that i equals 10 like this if you have more okay here it should only has a page equal to this one is not a ma doesn't match this one okay and from here to here is called a path okay and the last part this one is called a hash so if I have a hash here 
it's gonna return the value hash top okay so that's it and this is the UI standard and once you parse and for different parts you can retrieve using obg dot protocol then you can get HTTPS obg dot username you're gonna get the Tina okay like this way this is a standard entire thing this entire URL is called the href entire okay it's called the href okay uh and uh, for oh i forgot to talk about the http for the http okay it also has http colon slash slash but then they have an auth part it directly will go to this uh it will go th start with a host what's the host okay okay so um, I hope uh, my OBS works, okay? Just to have a warning, hope it doesn't uh, have any problem. Otherwise, I have to record again. So I'm gonna stop here and in my next video, we're gonna show you some hands-on uh, experience, which is uh, coding, okay? To show you everything, okay? Thank you for watching, bye-bye.